hey 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 welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to do a little tutorial on a bunch of healthy dessert recipes what everyone wants everyone has a little sweet tooth so i'm going to show you how to curb those cravings without feeling guilty so that's what today's video is going to be a little cooking show i'm just getting in the car on the way to the shops now so i'm just going to buy a few of the ingredients i do not have go home and cook it all up and i'll show you guys how to do it how exciting woo <laughs> shopping on a Sunday oh my gosh it's so busy so now we're just gonna go home and cook it all up and make and bake most of the ingredients I already have at home so I'll show you all the ingredients obviously but there's just a few things I had to buy from the shops so yeah so I'm gonna start making the first one which is gonna be a vegan vanilla chocolate brownie kind of thing I'm kind of going half by the recipe half including what I want to do so let's get into it so we're using chickpeas we'll need cacao powder i'm using the happy way protein powder as my vanilla sweetener almond meal well, you'll need coconut sugar buckwheat flour baking powder sprinkle of cinnamon berries i decided to throw this in as like a last little thing preheat oven to 200 degrees canned chickpeas i rinse mine off and then i peel off the outer layer because that will sort of stop any bloating or indigestion that you can get from eating chickpeas especially using them in large amounts now you're going to take three tablespoons of the protein powder one cup of almond meal and then you're going to take your almond milk i just guesstimate one cup of buckwheat flour chuck that in Do six tablespoons of cacao powder your coconut sugar and do three tablespoons of that sprinkle in your cinnamon and an average teaspoon of baking powder and a cup of the mixed berries and then mix away and then chuck it in the blender i actually grabbed like tablespoons of the mixture and sort of did it like bit by bit hazelnut loving earth chocolate you can use other chocolates i just really like loving earth and i love hazelnuts one of my favorite flavors so i just chucked it randomly like squares all over the brownies because um yum and then chucked it in the oven so i left it in there for about 25 minutes Not gonna lie, for someone who goes from having normal brownies to this, you might have to ease yourself into it, but I like it. Mm -hmm. The more I eat it, the more I'm like, it's a yes from me. Mm. Okay, so the next ones I'm making are the beetroot bliss balls, which are amazing. And they've got a little bit of vanilla in them for the sweetener. So we'll get rolling into that one. Grab your almond, the beetroot powder. You can use beetroot, but I was lazy and used the powder instead. Get rid of the pips from your dates and sort of shred them a little bit. And I soak them in hot water to soften them up. That makes it easier to blend. Then get your almonds and blend them. Next is blending your softened dates. So chuck them in the blender. And then put your almonds and dates together as a mixture. Grab your sweetener, so my again my vanilla protein powder, do half a scoop and mix that in. 
grab your beetroot powder i just guesstimate with the beetroot powder maybe two teaspoons of beetroot powder but i just guess with mine as you can see now time to get your hands dirty so you want to get the right consistency for what you like and then roll them into little balls whichever size you want them so this is a final product your hands will be very red but the balls are beautiful <laughs> Alrighty, so the next one I'm making is my paleo banana cake. Let me show you how it's done. So grab two semi-ripe bananas, some eggs, maple syrup, cinnamon is optional, I put it in mine but you don't have to in yours, and baking powder. So obviously you want to mash up your bananas. Chuck in your three eggs squash out and mix all the lumps half a cup of maple syrup but this is the sweetener for this recipe almond meal you want a cup And then you can chuck that one in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes. That one's actually really simple. And finally, the last one I'm making is another paleo recipe. Banana chocolate peanut butter muffins. This is the first time I've tried these. So hopefully they work out. My weakness, peanut butter. I basically just guessed everything for this recipe. One and a half bananas. Cinnamon is optional. Then you want your cacao powder, almond meal, eggs, and baking powder. So just go ahead and mash your bananas. Dash of cinnamon. A cup of almond meal flour. And then chuck in three eggs. Okay, so once you've removed all your shells, like I did from your mixture, um, chuck in your cacao powder, half a cup of cacao powder. You can do less or more. And this should be sort of what your consistency of your butter should look like. Take your peanut butter and use a fork or a knife and swish it in the top middle of the muffins and then chuck them in the oven for 45 minutes. guys that's all from master chef with tay so if you try any of the foods that i did in today's vlog let me know comment tell me if you liked them tell me if you didn't tell me if you changed it up to your own little recipe i hope you enjoyed the video though subscribe to my channel it would mean so much to me and i'll see you guys in my next video peace